ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله my respected brothers and sisters today i'm going to talk to you about some issues with social media as you know the social media has become the most powerful tool social media now sets the narrative of the world social media guides us how to think how to behave how to conduct yourself how to live your life how to eat what to dress how to talk so it has become a very powerful you know tool in our life so while it has become so powerful there are some you know suggestions i have to make sure that we use this media the best possible way so we can on one hand utilize it to get all the benefits and on the other hand we can protect ourselves from the harm of this media you know as you know before social media we used to have a lot of time for socialization the first negative i see about this social media is that we are losing our social skills especially our future generation we used to have a lot of time to hang around with friends to go and socialize to have human to human touch human to human talk and discussion but now we don't have that time because we are so much consumed in the social media my brothers and my sisters there was a survey done 25 years ago and according to that survey at that time average human being on this earth used to have five friends on average when i say friend friend means somebody you can count on somebody you can rely on somebody you can go if you are in any trouble friend is not just like a chit chat friend friend who is really and truly a friend 25 years ago five friends after having all this social media facebook whatsapp twitter instagram and many many more the recent study shows that average number of friends for on this earth has gone down to 1.5 from 5 to 1.5 we are losing skills to talk to human we are losing skills if we have a issue or conflict how to resolve it how to have a civic engagement civic talk if we have any conflict among us our kids and we ourselves we want quick fix no patience for lose, losing patience we want quick fix for everything and because on social media there is no emotional feelings so we are getting used to of saying whatever we want to say because there is no human to human touch when you are you know chit chatting or texting or emailing or facebook and another thing is happening is that this social media is creating a very false image around us imagination you know of people and we don't know the realities of their life so this is another social you know drawback of the social media that on social face facebook and all that you see these people are so happy and traveling here traveling their minute by minute report and you think that they are very happy but you don't know the inside story and then you want to be like that and then there is a struggle to become like that and if you don't find things around you then you get upset frustrated the message i want to give my brothers and my sisters that we really need our kids and ourselves as well to develop our social skills through contact with the real human beings and we should we should monitor that how much time we are spending on the social 
media and our generation future generation and ourselves as well we are getting lonely and you know loneliness is becoming the biggest disease of the universe right now more people are doing suicide because of the loneliness than people dying from the breast cancer there is a ministry now in england for loneliness to deal with these people there are people you can now lease in japan to become your family so leased family concept where are we heading brothers and my sisters in japan you can lease a family they will come at your home they will pretend like they are your family they will sit down with you they will eat and drink and will have dinner with you so that you don't feel lonely in your home because we are getting isolated from rest of the world because of the social media that we are losing skills how to communicate how to talk how to resolve you know our issues my brothers and my sisters i will suggest few things number 1 for social media we should have some rules and regulations in our home we should make sure that there is no such password in anybody's phone which other people cannot access there should be a timing time limit that how much time one can spend on social media number 3 this should be a rule in the home that social media internet will not be allowed in the room in the bedroom of any child or adult everybody will use social media and internet while we are sitting together and number last everybody's phone after a certain time in the night 8 o'clock 9 o'clock should be down in one you know basket that everybody including father and mother everybody's phone will be there my brothers and my sisters and my young you know daughters and son i know some of you may not like what i just said and most of our you know sons and daughters they will definitely will not like this but wallahi there are evil people on the show, social media our kids are very naive our kids are masoom they are innocent they don't know about these evil people these evil people and i am as a medical doctor and being a pediatrician and you know family counselor for our community i deal with families every day and i see tears you know in the in, in the eyes of our kids because these evil people they somehow trap our kids and then they blackmail them they fabricate their pictures their movies and they blackmail them the one thing we should do to give your child a confidence if anybody is trying to blackmail you you come to us keep your communication open keep your window door open for your kids and if anybody is trying to blackmail you you come to us we will believe you we will not believe them give this trust to your child my brothers and my sisters so we are trying to protect our these our you know masoom innocent kids from these evil people they are there to trap them to catch them to deceive them to misguide them so wallahi is a very serious issue that we are facing and another problem we are having is we used to have just one tv and we can just turn on turn off now we have something in our hands 24/7 which is worse than tv average american he checks his phone 150 times a day my brothers and you know pornography corrupted media nobody is safe from it doesn't matter if i go to masjid or i am regular in my prayer and i read quran and i am the board member of masjid or i am 
you know, anybody else. Nobody is immune to this issue because shaitan is always there. When I am with my phone 2 o'clock in the morning and nobody is watching me and somehow I feel like, you know, I'm strong. And it reminds me of a hadith of our Sallam in which he says, Mu'min does not humiliate himself or herself. And Sahaba asked, Ya Rasul, how Mu'min can humiliate you know, himself or herself? He said, thinking that he is strong, he or she exposes himself to trials which basically he thinks he can handle and when he faces those trial his weaknesses they get exposed and because of those weaknesses he humiliates himself and we all do that oh, i can watch i can handle this oh my I, my iman is very strong and when we turn on something our weaknesses you know as a human being they get exposed and we humiliate ourselves you know our eyes our ears, our thoughts, our heart and because of that corruption then our ibadah, our fasting, our salah everything gets corrupted my brothers and my sisters Imam Shafi'i rahmatullahi had lost his memory just because at one time he did a mistake that he says that he had seen the ankle of a woman and just from that glance he started losing his memory and he came and came complained to the teacher we know all that is that is story he complained to the teacher and the teacher of Imam Shafi said to him you know abstain from the sins and this was the mistake he had made my brothers so imagine what will happen to our ibadah our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives you and me this tawfiq that we can use best of the social media but careful be careful and we should be very you know vigilant we should be very careful when we make any move in this regard may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep all of us protected assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh